here we have given two trolleys one is m1 and one is m2 these trolleys have rolls here two rollers and they will offer the friction f1 with ground this is connected with the one spring k1 in between them is damper and other is connected to the k2 to the rigid frame a force is applied f of t to the m1 and the corresponding displacement is x1 and the corresponding displacement of m2 is x2 since force is applied on m1 x1 is more than x2 so our first variable so our first variable is x1 and second variable is x2 we have a same formulation when you are writing the sum of impedance around x1 so x1 is uh, it with m1 so we have to write down almost all elements about m1 that is uh, k1 m1 b so impedance of m1 is m1 square impedance of b is bs impedance of k1 is k1 we have friction friction is same treated as a uh, damper so the impedance of f1 is f1s the spring has a displacement of x1 and ground damper has a displacement between x1 and x2 k2 has a displacement of x2 and ground so there is only one element which has a both displacement x1 and x2 so here there is only one term in one is bs multiplied by x2 as this term will repeat and when you are writing the sum of impedance about x2 so x2 is connected to the m2 so all elements nearby m2 so we have impedance of m2 is equal to m2s square impedance of b is bs f2 is f2s similar to damper and k2 is k2 multiplied by x2s finally you arrange the equation 1 and 2 in the matrix form and then solve by cramer's rule you will get final answer as x1s upon f of s m2s square bs k bs plus f2s plus k2 divided by this term multiplied by this term minus of this into this whole square number of times we come across the components like spring and damper they are in series and if they are in series then you have to require a additional displacement variable but if you use the additional displacement variable we require the number of equations will be increased and that becomes difficult to solve in that case you have to use the impedance method the equivalent impedance the z if represent the impedance then impedance is a reciprocal of resistance hence the rule of impedance are exactly opposite of the rule of resistance that is used in electric network suppose we have z1 and z2 are the uh, impedance in the series the resultant is z we are using the reciprocal rule here because this is exactly opposite of the resistance so 1 by z is equal to 1 by z1 plus z2 lcm is z1 into z2 so uh, numerator is z1 plus z2 you can remember that when the arrangement in series the numerator is product and denominator is addition that is z1 into z2 upon z1 plus but if the arrangement is parallel that is z1 and z2 are parallel the resultant z will be simple addition that is exactly opposite again of the resistance rule used in parallel so z equals to z1 plus z2 suppose we have the two spring in series so we required one variable in between them to define the motion completely and you want to avoid this you simply write k1 in the impedance form k2 in the impedance form now this figure is almost same as the series arrangement so here we have a rule the resultant impedance will be product upon the addition product is k1 into k2 and the denominator is addition that is k1 plus k2 if we have one damper and one spring in series so we write the impedance of k impedance of b is bs and our answer will be again the rule by series that is k product k into bs upon addition that is k plus bs if we have two dampers in series then we have b1 and b2 so our impedance of b1 is b1s impedance of b2 is b2s we apply the rule of series so we have a product upon the addition here we can take out one of the s common so our final answer is b1 b2 upon b1 plus b2 multiplied by s so use this technique for solving the problems if we get a complex network just now we have seen the series arrangement impedance so this problem gives the demonstration of c1 c2 series k1 k2 series we can replace k1 and k2 c1 and c2 by using the impedance whenever we have use such type of system we use the impedance laplace net network so impedance of m is m square impedance of f of t is f of s and impedance impedance of x of t is x of s the impedance of c1 is c1s impedance of c2 will be c2 and impedance of k1 is k1 and impedance of k2 is k2 now consider this is the arrangement which has a z1 equal to c1s z2 equal to c2s this is series so for series we have the rule 
the resultant impedance is the product divided by the sum the product is c1s c2s upon c1s plus c2s s can be taken common so z12 is c12 upon c12 c1 plus c2s accordingly our network is uh, replaced by c1s c2s by 1 simple value c1 c2 upon c1 c2 multiplied by s now consider the series arrangement of k1 k2 so over z3 k1 z4 is k2 so resultant of z3 and z4 is z34 which is the product upon the addition k1 into k2 upon k1 plus k2 so both these two are replaced by k1 k2 upon k1 plus k2 so we have reduced the problem to single variable otherwise we required x1 y1 z1 like this one now we have a sum of simple input since we have one displacement only we will write sum of impedance around x of s is equal to f of s impedance of ms squares this is c1 c2 s c1 c1 plus c2 this is k1 k2 upon k1 plus k2 so input is f of s output is x of s our transfer function x of s upon f of s 1 upon m s square plus c1 c2 s upon c1 plus c2 plus k1 into k2 upon k1 plus k2 